Hey everybody and welcome back to Zeldudes Play Scarred Sword HD. Last time we messed around a bit, you know. Yeah. Some gratitude it's a bit of a, a filler anime episode. Right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> if it, if it was an anime episode, it was a filler. Yeah. One. I mean, we fought the imprisoned. That's a that's a that's a pretty main event. But yeah, actually let's, uh, true, true. Let's get questing. Let's uh, actually, you know, try and save the world now, rather than just. <laughs> <laughs> do like a bit of home improvement right it's always funny to me when you do watch uh anime and shows like that where it's like you know oh they always have time to mess around and have a little fun you know like even though the world is threatened by some evil like i feel like you'd never really be in a comfortable position right when you're like, isn't there like a, like a go-karting episode of dragon ball z or something like that i, I swear i remember <laughs> i know goku gets his license in one <laughs> um, right yeah that might i think be that's it. during all, all like all of that happens i'm not entirely sure if that's during the cell games like i, I know a lot of silliness happens there's a bunch of filler episodes but whatever yeah we're speaking to gabora because or gabora um so we can uh, figure out what to do next, because apparently he knows. So sing it for us, man. Oh, sing it. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> I wouldn't right. feel comfortable serenading you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with us? And we have to... Wait, okay, you can hit B. I'm like, we have to slowly see the text <laughs> come, like as in he is singing it. But no, you, you could skip it. We don't need to hear it. It would have it been nice to hear with voice acting, like how silly that would have yeah. sounded. But <laughs> maybe it's a good thing there we can't. Go. Two okay, whirling oh. sails, though. There's the mm -hmm. clue. Yep. And then uh, the path will open. All right. Then I guess that's what we need to do. We already assumed that, you know, um, that we have to, like, do the the windmill thingy. But, um, yeah, I guess we have to speak to him first and figure speak out exactly. Speak to the fat, bold man first. That's yep. the rule. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but, okay. So... Yeah, yeah we let's, go, uh, let's go find these whirling sails. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. You're right. Yeah. Whirling sail for now. Yeah, um, we can only do one for now, but let's let's get to it. Uh, okay, let me grab. Let me pull this out. But um, yeah, uh, this honestly doesn't make any sense. Like, usually there's like meanings behind certain things, but this is just, okay, have the two windmills face the lighthouse and apparently something magical happens there's a deeper meaning behind it it literally makes no sense but i guess that's zelda for you some things don't yep. it's just meant to be puzzling needs to be done yeah, yeah. um i mean it, like i don't down. know like sails windmills on a floating island i don't know it's kind of like city in the sky from from twilight princess although that's all kind of industrial industrial and you get the feeling yeah, looks that way the fans different. somehow mm -hmm. you know power it or keep it afloat whereas yep. uh this yeah, is these a magical seem to be island kind of in the sky. Decorative with... fans. Yep. They're not powering <laughs> yeah. anything. They're not not grinding any flower. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not needed. Kind of, it's one hundred percent for just yeah decoration. Okay, so wait, this guy's gonna try to fix it or? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jakama. Again, that's uh, that's probably a bird name that I'm I'm not getting. Yeah, I, I don't know many birds. All I know is like I don't know Toucan Sam. Um, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Um, so I wonder how we're supposed to get Scrapper. Like, I actually forgot. I know we have to find him in Lenado. Is it just like one of the... It's um, um, the guy in the gear shop, I think, you talked to about Scrapper, right? Because uh, it wasn't it like his granddad's robot or, or something oh, like that? Oh, he already has one. Um, yeah. Wow. So that's like a piece from... Wait, that's crazy. I didn't think of that. I thought we were going to head back to Lanayru. Like, I completely forgot. Uh, but I think you're right. Do we have to first find the... the um, windmill? What is it? Go to Eldin and... S I don't know if we do. I, I think... I think we go straight... Go, go, go to the bazaar now. I think... Okay. I think we just talk to him. Yeah, and then... I mean, we, we can go to Lanayru because there's another... Um, forgotten item on the surface uh, that we can pick up from there uh, not as important though but which yeah, is it's, it's worth doing the uh, th th there's the wheel I, I think for um, the clown island what's it called fun fun island. oh yeah yeah true um, his, his wheel of fun or whatever has fallen down yeah uh -huh. here we go this guy yeah let's see what he okay. says so uh, how do we restore it does he just restore it for us 
Uh, I can't remember. Old robot, yeah, Tinker. Old Witt. robot, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So Interesting yeah, though. So his dad what explored the surface? Like this doesn't. I wonder what the lore is behind that. Like what story that is, you know? Because yeah, clearly his, his I don't grandpa's know. not making stuff up, or his grandpa rather. Um, it's not made up. Yeah, so either he explored the surface, you're right, or it must have existed like on the bit of land that Hylia sent skyward, I suppose. Because we know mm -hmm. ancient Linera and the ancient robots, they predate uh, the war against Demise, right? Because yep. they, uh, in Take the intro, you can one. see Hylia surrounded by her races, and there's the Gorons and the um, Perella or whatever, and the ancient robots. So we know they're at least that old. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, maybe his his dad or his granddad or whatever he said was like a an explorer. I don't know. Blue. Yeah, and he, he probably picked it up like that, right? I mean, there's no way it rusted within, like, you know, from when his grandpa was young to now. Like, you right? That that's a really small life cycle for even these robots. Like, because oh, we yeah. assume the stuff in Lenero are so old, you know? Yeah, you'd think it'd have kind of refurbished it sooner, considering it took him like. Ten Two seconds. seconds. To do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, I forgot. Scrapper hates Link. He for hates some us. Reason. Yeah, he yeah. loves Fi though. Makes sense. Fi has such an AI like uh, you know personality. I guess he can relate. But they don't actually. They're actually robots, and they don't. They're they're a lot more you know humanoid in a sense with how they act and you know. Yeah, oh, they're like. Does Link have a name? Um, uh, a, a robot yeah, name, like also LD something, like numbers. Um, yeah, oh wait, it's LD, because LD is Lanayru Desert, which yep. is interesting because it wasn't a desert at the time when the naming convention would have began, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, so that that's weird, but yeah, yeah, Link is LD, I think it's 17 or 18, it, either way, it's whichever number Age. game Skyward Sword was, right? Oh. So it would have been oh. it would have been seventeen, right? Because since cool. then we've had a link between worlds, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. So mm. I think it would be L D seventeen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's the seventeenth game link. Yep. Not the seventeenth link, because obviously there's a few links that have multiple games, but uh mm -hmm. and technically this is number one as well. This is the link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's not the seventeenth link. Uh, but okay, so and technically, I mean, with the timeline split, there's only like there's not even ten links because they would split. Oh, up. true in in any one timeline, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I reckon speak to the fortune teller just in case that's a trigger for. You know, we don't want to go all the way down to Elden and need to come back to to trigger the dialogue, right? What dialogue um, for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy just said speak to the fortune teller. I don't know if it's essential to do. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't want... No, <laughs> not even worth the rupee. That's a scam. No. Yeah, no, I think it's legit. Whoa, this dude, like... He won't leave Link alone when you say no. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I, I think uh, that's just in case you don't know where to go. Because, I mean, the game kind of leaves you in the dark a little bit if you didn't actually know where yeah. to go. Um, yo, this guy, <laughs> this guy's a dope hat. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very cool hat. Yeah. What did this guy want? Why did he have a, a bubble, a text bubble next to him? Uh, honestly, I thought I wasn't paying attention, to be real. <laughs> uh, he didn't hear rumors. Oh, <laughs> oh. Nightfall. Okay. Woman uh, sobbing. Yeah, woman oh, that's sobbing. the, uh, the, the that's the hand, right? Yeah. 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 And she's just um, cooking. Piper. Piper? Well, I guess Piper. that's... It's uh, there, there's another in Tears of the Kingdom is a kid named Piper, but um, he has a Y in his name instead mm -hmm. of an I. You know what I'm talking about, That's, right? I do, yeah, yeah. One of the um, stable trotters, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but okay. Um, Anyways, let's go to yes, Elden. onwards to Elden. Yeah. Uh, this is cool. I like the. Like, I mean, we we pointed out in the Elden episode, but I love the way that we we saw the propeller all the way back then and we didn't know what it was for until now. Yep. Um, which yeah, is cool, yeah, yeah. where the, the game kind of sprinkles set up throughout yeah. the whole world. That like things you're that saying now. Like exactly what you're pointing out right now, yeah. So there's yeah. a mysterious one-eyed statue on the edge of Skyloft, yeah. And mm -hmm. that's not going to be relevant until the very basically end. the very end of the game. Yeah. Yep. Which is really cool. 
Yeah. Uh, and wow, I just realized when you leave facing the direction of a um, of one of the beacons, it look at that within seconds, you know. So it's oh, like you really it like do lines wanna... up with the the boost, yeah. Yeah. So I definitely want to do that. And hmm, have I been? I think I've been activating the bird statues here, but I don't think I have been for the ones down here, which might give me a problem but i think this game fixed that issue where you don't have to activate them in hd i hope not because when yeah. revisiting lanero we're screwed because i totally forgot to activate any of the bird statues um i mean i th someone in the comments said that you just need to go near them yeah like once game, it auto saves to... right it like it should because yeah. that makes the most sense that'd be ridiculous if the game wants you to just click a on each one for what reason exactly no, I don't think you do this time. So hopefully, yeah, we'll have got most of Lanayru done. Yeah. Luckily, yeah, these, these they're not as annoying too. Well, he, he heard you say that, and he started to <laughs> yeah. be incredibly annoying. <laughs> can I run up this? Yeah, okay, it's cool. I, nice. I do like how Link can do that, but I'm just going to look, yeah, for some extra rupees, because I really do want the Sacred Shield before we make our way to our next area. Um, I guess we'll we'll do some more side quests. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we do end up uh, finding the wheel for for the clown, then um, we can play that for rupees, right? The the diving mm -hmm. game. Yeah, true, and that can give you a lot of rupees. So yeah, okay, I guess she's gonna use some kind of transmission, a literally telepathic transmission. Telepathic transmission. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And this dude is fast. I mean, how is he already <laughs> here? Like, holy crap. Yep. Like yeah, do, so, he, I don't know. Does he just go through the cloud barrier or does he, he follow Link through that little hole that the, the ruby tablet opened up? I want, I will, if these were retrieved from the surface, there wasn't even, I mean, the cloud barrier could still be, you know, yeah, travel so things through can without fall yeah. through. Yeah, but oh. um, I know that loft link, loft wings won't fly through it. Yeah, um, and that's kind of the reason that no one in the sky knows anything about the surface. Whereas, mm -hmm. yeah, if you if you fall, you will just fall through the clouds, right? Because Zelda does at the start of the game. She's attacked by that tornado. Uh, mm -hmm. And true, that's that's before you put the um, the emerald tablet in. Yeah, so you, you don't need those those holes in the clouds. You can't just yeah. fall through. It probably just makes it easier to navigate and not, you know, get lost in the clouds or know exactly where you're landing, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's why Link can pinpoint yeah. which statue he wants to land on or land near. Yeah, but it's it's kind of, that's part of the reason the game feels so segmented. Oh, I mean, obviously it is segmented. Yeah, imagine if you could see everything underneath yeah. you. Even if there was a loading screen, imagine if you could just see a glimpse of it. That'd be so cool. Right. But you There's know what? Some that is essentially that, how the game designers were able to create lore that makes no sense, but be able to have an excuse to not give us anything to see underneath. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. some um, there's some really nice concept art for Skyward Sword of uh, oh yeah, with like diving and you see everything. Yeah. Where it's <laughs> it's much more open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm, I'm sure we've said it a few times throughout this LP, but yeah, the developers themselves weren't happy with how, yep. you know, cut off everything is. But, yeah, you know, there we go. He, he said it. We for got Breath of the Wild. For the so. mistress, I'll travel to any destination. Just letting yeah, letting Fi know. For Fi, yeah. yeah, exactly. He's literally <laughs> a simp. <laughs> but okay, oh, yeah, so. he, he attached. For some reason, I had kind of Tears of the Kingdom brain on then. I thought we'd have to oh, ultra, we're ultra hand, hand it onto the... <laughs> <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've, been, yeah. I've had to kind of repress saying that kind of like whenever we walk through that um that little bridge right near here the little tunnel with the houses it just that's a perfect ascend location right you just mm -hmm. yep. walk up yeah jump yeah. through it easy no I I still instinctively think to do that from time to time it definitely has like changed the way I look at Zelda games they're all gaming. And like we said before, even real life, you just like, oh, this will be a shortcut if yep. I send it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it is hilarious how that works. But it makes sense. We we put in hundreds of hours into that game, and that's probably why like it's like ingrained into our minds. It's like yeah. that with anything. And like, when I, just, the abilities are so good as well. They're so natural mm -hmm. and so. I mean, we've talked before about like how powerful Link is in that game, but like, it's just so fun to control <laughs> Link and run around. You know, we've both got our yep. problems with Tears of the Kingdom, but. 
the the actual core gameplay is is not one of them. Like mm -hmm. Link, just controlling Link, running around, exploring the world is just magic. It's so good. Yep. Um, and yeah, that, that's why like whatever Zelda game they give us in the future, as long as it's utilizing that engine, I'm sure it's going to be amazing, and it will only get better. Yeah. That's why like. Yeah, my excitement for the series is really high. People are like, oh, the series has changed and will never be the same. Nah, just give Nintendo more time to create more on that engine, and I feel like it's just going to get better and better. Like, imagine a game like this, but with the capability and, you know, engine that, you know, Breath of the Wild right. Tears of the Kingdom has. You know, yeah, you're right, because so there's cool. kind of like, there's been a bit of a shift in sentiment with Tears of the Kingdom, because, you know, it is a little bit divisive. Not everyone uh, absolutely loves the game. Um, mm -hmm. But yet, you know, it's Zelda. It's Nintendo's, like, flagship quality series. It's not going oh. anywhere. It's like, it's, yep. you know, it's Zelda. It's always going to be around. It's always going to keep reinventing itself. It's always going to be, a, you know, at the cutting edge of, of what games are doing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there's always more Zelda games. It's always, you know... Yep. I mean, it darkened yeah, but, really quickly. That was weird. The lighting just right? shifted. It looks yeah. nice though. I mean, I like the way it looks here. But okay, here it's we go. Mood lighting, yeah. But here we yep. go. So we gotta we gotta play with five properly. I'm not I'm not a musician, so fair with I mean this is just <laughs> flicking back and forth, but still. <laughs> Seems to be working though. Yeah. Ah, uh, we get your song in a second, so we'll listen to it. Oh yeah. It. And we get to hear Fi also sing. Here we go. Oh, nice, and it's the main Scarlet Sword like theme. Yeah, one of the best Zelda themes, I think. Ballad of the Goddess. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. not even including the whole Zelda's lullaby backwards twist, because that's just the, you know, another level. Oh, that's such an as amazing a, Easter egg. As a piece of music, it's so good because it can mm -hmm. be kind of like angelic and quite chill, like that one was, or it can be it this can be kind epic. Of bombastic, yes. epic main theme. Yeah, yes. it's so good. Yep. But yeah, this will unlock the Thunderhead, which is a. Uh, oh, and here we go. Kind of... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll listen to it. Music. Will listen to it will keep playing. It will keep playing. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, this is uh, when we had all the Tears of the Kingdom trailer uh, trailers. The situation in Hebra really. Oh yeah, we me thought it was gonna be that. Yeah. Yeah. That been, yeah. yeah. Oh well. Um, but yeah. Anyway, this... I'll shut up now. Let's listen. Yeah, this track is like only exclusive to here. And <laughs> okay, and it's not <laughs> in the in the actual soundtrack. Yeah, um, and it sounds really nice. It's, it's short. I mean, it literally loops after five ish it's... ten seconds. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just so nice, right? It's it's one like... of my favorite tracks in the game because I just really like it. It's really good. Yeah, and it's not kind of particularly. Um, like in your face or whatever, it's mm. quite subtle. Yeah. And yeah, like you said, it's not even on the soundtrack. It's only this one tiny section of the game, so it's kind of easily missed. But mm -hmm. and there's you a, can a, lot, a lot of cool Zelda musical moments like that that you can easily skip past. I wonder though, and I guess this would be a great time to ask: like, is this a part of another song, or is it similar to something? Is maybe that why it's not in the soundtrack, or am I missing something? Because I'm definitely curious. And since we'll have a lot more eyes. And ears. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, it sounds. Da, 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 da. I don't know. It's like almost it sounds reminiscent of the goddess. Of something, it feels, right? Yeah. Um, but like again, slightly... I'm, I'm not a musician either. Yeah. It feels like, uh, uh, you know, like in a song, you usually have like the, a lead guitar and a bass guitar, right? And the bass does mm -hmm. like a kind of supporting track. It feels kind of like the bass melody for. Yeah, Battle that's of the what goddess, I'm thinking. Right? You could and... imagine. The main ballad of the goddess layered over the top of this would sound right? good, right? That's what I, literally what I was thinking of. Or like even the the main, uh, you know, sky exploring theme. Like maybe that's just a part of one of the many tracks in the whole thing, you know, compiled together. I don't know, but yeah, yeah but I don't recognize nice. it as a song by itself. No. Yeah, exactly. But it, it is. I mean, it's not the the best thing ever. But it is, there's something about it that I like, and it's a shame that we can't find it. But yeah, I, literally years ago, I was telling you about this, and I'm, I remember you yep. were helping me look for it. And eventually, what I did to actually get it is literally like now, uh, and yeah, too bad it's over now. But like, um, what I did is just uh, when I got to this point in the game, like kind of what I did now, I just stood there for a while, and now I could just loop it. 
and use it, you know, if yeah. I want to use it in a video or something. So technically I, I have it. I, but I remember um, when you were asking me about it, and I, cause I didn't really know what what song you were on about at the time, because it is, you know, it's like easy to miss. Um, yeah. And then we like went through other people's and your um, let's play of Skyward Sword, and like, yeah. you know, you try and hear it underneath what the people are saying, probably like yeah. what our viewers are trying to do now. Um, <laughs> yeah. And we're like, oh, that that's it. Oh, but you know, we only heard a second of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, and yeah, well, it's good you finally got it now. You've got it forever. You can just loop that. Yep, exactly. Nice I, I think we were quiet enough for even people watching. But whoa, yeah. but I do we like go, the, the weather change. Like, yeah, it yeah. looks super nice. I actually like the way it looks now before we light it up. Because eventually it will look like the rest of um, the sky. Of the sky, you know? yeah. Yeah, all, yeah, all yellow, orange, and bright and sunny. I, I kind of like the rain. I mean... The rain quality looks really silly and bad. It, like, you know, it doesn't really feel like it's raining. It looks like there's just a filter on the screen, but... Yeah. Because, like, it would have been nice for Link to get wet and to feel the raindrops and, you know, literally for Link to darken up or something. Something that we see way too much of in Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I am so annoyed. I swear he stays He's wet He's always forever wet for, like, yeah, for, an yeah. it's for an hour. It's only for an in-game hour. So that's wow. about like 30 yeah. seconds, if not more. Yeah, no, in a minute, a full minute. Uh, it's yeah. so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, and if you start talking to someone, like uh, I remember stays, for recording yeah, the videos, whole he scene. stays wet the whole time. And if yeah. you save, if you save while wet, he starts the game wet. I like it's so <laughs> stupid. So even if you try to load in and out, it doesn't work. Yeah. The easiest way to do it is to teleport. Whatever. That's all aside the point. My anyway, point is Nintendo took it to the extreme. Sadly, in this game, yeah, look, it's just a filter. You don't see it's any rain getting screen. on Link. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing is happening. You don't feel it. It's so so half-assed. Like. Kind of a shame. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, what do you think of this puzzle? The Isle of Songs puzzle. Oh, yeah. I like the music. That's an <laughs> the way I talk about the music a lot. <laughs> I mean, but as you know, and I've told you this before, I think Skyward Sword is like my favorite soundtrack within the series. After Twilight Princess. So it's, like, it's a respectable pick, I think. It's, it's yeah, bangers all throughout, I think, Skyward yeah. Sword. Yeah. And, and my favorite ones are stuff like this. The really... Calm, just relax theme. This reminds me of like an inn in another RPG game, you know? Yes, like a, yeah, like in Skyrim or something. You can imagine yeah. playing in an inn, yeah, in the Ballad yeah. Mare or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but okay. Um, yeah, this puzzle's interesting. I actually forgot how to do it. I know there's multiple ways to solve it, right? Let's just, okay, let's Yeah, let's I think you kind of just have to trial and error it a uh -huh. bit. Oh, yeah, because you. You lock the certain things in place with this. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. Let me let me do the oops. No. What? There you go. Let's do this one first, and then try to move them. I think you could do them really quickly, but we'll, we'll figure this out. I mean, I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. There'll be a, like an optimal way to do it instantly. But in case you haven't noticed from this whole LP, this uh, <laughs> we haven't been particularly optimal, but. Mm -hmm. Round we go! This will do it. I think so. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I think, yeah, th okay. I definitely got it now. It's, uh... Yeah. This is the one, yeah? Yeah. Yes, there yeah, now all down. Yeah. Those two down. There yeah. you go. There yeah. we go. There we yeah. go. Okay, we didn't, we didn't, never mind. Okay, well, it didn't take that long, actually. I, for some reason, was thinking I was going to have to loop it multiple times. This is so easy, actually, if you don't overcomplicate it in your head. Uh, but of yep. course, that is how I chose to tackle it. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of the um, the Twilight Princess puzzle, you know, just before the Master Sword, uh, where those statues hop around on the, on the tiles. Um, that's similar, where it's, it is easy, but, you know, it's oh, very yeah. easy to mess up as well. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, because you just, like... You either overcomplicate it or you just kind of start, yeah, you, you can just start messing it up and then like, you know, it's hard to go back to where you want it. This one, this one's way easier though, compared to that, but. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the way the mouth moves. Yeah, on the statue, like the what goddess, is yeah. that? It's like a puppet. <laughs> it's so weird. Right? <laughs> it's like a, yeah, like a ventriloquist dummy yeah, or something. Yeah, my bad, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Not a, pu a puppet would go up and down. Yeah, literally like a, yeah, a dummy like that. Um, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Uh, yeah. But, but I suppose yeah. it is kind of a, a 
ventriloquist dummy for Hylia herself. So, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, th these are so weird but cool to me. Like, I, I wonder why Nintendo really heavily... Oh, the, the ballet is, is a very important part of the message, I think. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to do a little dance when you recall Hylia's message. Yeah, why is that, though? Like, that's why I think <laughs> it's just such a random uh, direction to go with and uh, make it such a, they you know... They just like gave Fi the legs for it and thought, you know, <laughs> we're gonna... <laughs> Right, yeah, and she, since she oh, look at that. arms, there you go. It, like, yeah, yeah, it looks kind of cool. Like, I mean, she's literally, like, twirling like a ballerina. It's kind of cool. And I just realized, yeah. yeah, even her, the way her um, legs are designed with the, it kind of looks like, not necessarily it looks like knitting, a but tight or something, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It does look cool, though. Like, if I got some moves, like, <laughs> she goes hard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Though. And Link goes hard too. Link j just picked up this instrument and is playing a banger song, like already, like quick learner. Yep. But again, Link has always been a musician. That's how I see it. Like the dude is just a natural, you know, talented artist. Right? I miss I miss Link having an instrument. Like, that's yep. something so sorely missing from. Oh, I love this mm -hmm. bit. Yep. Uh, yeah. From Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Oh, and it could have been like he could have had like Cass's uh, accordion or concertina yeah, and or whatever the instrument it is. In Tears mm -hmm. of the Kingdom, yeah. Um, hopefully that's something that they bring back. Link with an instrument is just not right otherwise. Yeah, <laughs> the way he's staring at it, like this instrument it played Whoa, music. Wow, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, the way he shows it, we're gonna have to see this multiple times. Every time he learns it, he has to like show it to us. Like, bro, you've had this for a while now. Relax. Yeah. Well, not yet. <laughs> right now, it's still new to him. But as time goes on, yeah, it gets a bit uh, redundant. <laughs> True. But yeah, for Raw's courage, the first of quite a few songs we, we learned. So there's, mm -hmm. well, there's the three goddess songs. There's and the dragon the song songs. of the hero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that are split into verses. That, yeah. So the song of the hero is split into small parts, right? Um, yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's a long time before we get to hear the song of the hero in its complete form, but yep. that is one of my favorites because it, it references the Ocarina of Time Hyrule Field theme in it, which is really uh -huh. cool. True, uh, yeah. But yeah, th this this whole area is really nice. Like you get yeah, the uh, depictions of Hylia on the walls. Yeah, there. as like it's a, the same same carvings as in the the sealed temple. Uh huh. I mean, it kind of looks like an of... angel or something. Yeah, with her wings spread like that. Um, yeah. Um, what? Yeah, it's if interesting. Hylia We've never really a, seen a dancer. If Hylia well. was a <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, a dancer, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. <laughs> But I think it's cool how in the uh, in the intro cutscene we see, pro well, what is the, the best depiction of Hylia we've seen? Like the only real depiction is that kind of almost cave painting sort of artwork at the start of the game. Because other mm. than the goddess statues, we don't know anything about what she looked like. But we do know oh. from those uh, from the intro sequence, we do know that she used the goddess sword in the war against Demise, which mm -hmm. means the first wielder of the Master Sword technically wasn't Link, it was a goddess, which is really cool. Yeah. So it was a, her personal sword before it was Link's. Huh? Is it an island Wait. next to it, or am I... What, the, oh. the chest that was on top. Um, oh, it's right here. No, no right. it's this one, because uh, that, that, one's, that one's locked still. Oh, the, right. The, oh, okay. This one opened up, so might as well pick it up. Hopefully it's some rupees so I could get that. Yeah, okay, I don't hey, mind. Even, even if it's a full wallet. I mean... Yeah. At least we... And we is isn't. it a full wallet? No, because no. I forgot we, we upgraded we got, our wallet. And we got a thousand. Hell yeah. That's our wallet, yeah. There we go. Yeah, We're learning. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we could carry more money. We're a big boy. <laughs> yeah. I believe it was yeah, what it called the adult wallet in other Zelda games, right? Uh, at least in Ocarina of Time, it definitely is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the others, myself. I don't know. Ah, ah, my eyes! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> these are weird enemies, these guys. You know, some sort of parasites related to Bilocyte, right? But, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's what you can remember. They don't give us anything. I think maybe they could drop something, but I don't care. I mean, we got the money now. I'm happy. I can... Finally get the best shield that you can buy 
in the game at least. I mean, nothing nothing comes yes. close to the Hylian shield, but well, it's a, I think it's an underrated shield, the the sacred shield, because it's kind of um, it's very similar to the Hylian shield, right, in its design. So I think it goes overlooked because uh, it yeah, is. Yeah. You know, I love it, but it is just a worse Hylian shield, right? It's just a slightly less cool Hylian shield. Um, mm -hmm. But it's cool the way it's, you know, it's immune to the elements and it can it can heal itself. So it is definitely handy to have. Um, and I think by the time it's fully upgraded, it, it looks really cool as well. Is it when it's fully upgraded that it has the, the Statue of the Goddess on it? Or is that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, now, right now it's just literally, as you can see, just literally the bird. Yeah. Um, then what's the second stage of it? Is that... Yeah. Oh, yeah, they all, all the shields have the bird claw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no. As you upgrade it, yeah, I think the second stage it looks really like we'll see if we can just at least look at it right now. We'll go speak to uh, not Scrapper, hey. his owner, whatever. But yeah, finally, uh, I don't oh, want a shield. Yeah. Gonzo, I think. Yeah. Uh, and his, wow. I trust his name is Rupin because he's he was really destined to Rupee. be a greedy, yeah, yeah, a greedy little guy. Yeah, um, he's definitely right. That the Hask, the Hask blah, 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 blah. he's definitely the Happy Mask salesman, right? Or like, I guess yeah, to I, him. I, or, I, I see know. references in him, but like you know, he the Happy Mask salesman is so mysterious and weird. Like I feel like it would have to kind of relate to masks or something to really get that vibe. But I see mm. what you're saying. Um, but yeah, I don't need this trash anymore. Screw it. Good thing we didn't even <laughs> yeah. upgrade him. Now we're set. Okay. Right. Uh, um, yes, yeah, see, see what he says. We need to upgrade it. Yeah, we, we yep. definitely won't have the stuff yet. But yeah, but we'll have the preview of it. Gondo. Oh, Gondo. Not what did I say? Gonzo, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But okay. Yeah, Let's what's, see. What's he so. Want for it? Oh, it started, oh, yeah, but it hasn't fully evolved. But yeah, we need a lot of a lot of things. Uh, it does crawl? Oh, yeah, so. number two is quite nice. Look, those golden wings on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Bird feathers, not too hard. Dusk relic, I think that's only in the silent realms, right? So, I think so. Yeah. I mean, so. to be fair, it's not super long before we we visit the Farren silent realm. Mhm. Mm True. Um, but okay, so with that opened up, we now can go back to Farron and do stuff with that, right? That's the plan, at least. Um, yep. Should we still yep. hit up the lumpy pumpkin? before we go yeah why not let's see what's going on um okay. i'm sure we can at least start doing side quests there i think uh, yeah you know one maybe of them the pump is, pumpkin yeah, like balancing the game is, is oh and that oh this yeah. the soup yeah the soup yeah, i never yeah. did the soup yeah like i'm surprised i've never done that either all right let's see go on go on go on go on no. <laughs> no. <laughs> one day yeah, one one day I'll get that rupee. I think I got it before, or no, I don't even know if I did or not. But like, no, uh, you were uh, you were going to when we had a full wallet. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I see. I think that was the closest we we came to actually getting it, and that was. Yeah, now that I want to get it, it, it's yeah. impossible. Yeah, yeah. Um, but okay. but yeah, let's do this. Then I think you, uh, the song, the what's it called, Farrell's Courage. That that opens up the door to Lake Floria, right? Um, Mm -hmm. There's the door that we couldn't open before in the Farron Woods. Yep. Oh wait, I don't have inventory, right? Space. I need an empty bottle. Uh, maybe um, screw it. Yeah, you're not gonna die, right? Yeah. I say that now. I mean, now we, we, it's definitely gonna happen. Now we lost the ferry. Hundred percent. Right. <laughs> how it works. <laughs> All right, sweet. Some pumpkin soup. Yo, pumpkin soup's actually pretty good. Have you had it? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, like I thought I wouldn't like because you know pumpkin. It, I don't know, you, you know, it's like a Halloween thing. You never, I, I always forget. Yeah, that, they carve know, it out and throw it. It's an actual they... vegetable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's good. It, it's basically like um, butternut squash. It's like the same thing, basically. Yeah, right? yeah. Same kind of um, consistency and like, uh, it's, just, it's just mushy. And when it's cooked in soup, it's just nice because, you know, it's a less carby potato type thing, right? Essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've got five minutes, which... Uh, Kind of reminiscent of the the forest spring water in the Wind Waker, right? So it's something I like how you think of that. I was say kind of reminiscent of the mushroom that you have oh, to deliver in the big Goron, the Goron thing. quest. Yes. Bro, that's literally because yeah. see, that's the Zelda, the OG Zelda game to you is it's gonna be Wind Waker thing. See, I didn't even think you're right. In Wind Waker, that is a thing as well. But like, sure, I'm thinking just, of Ocarina of Time. 
yeah, it's just the first thing that comes to my head is always Wind Waker. Like, mm -hmm. not even just with Zelda games, just kind of in life in general. Yeah. Most yep. of and most of my thoughts on a daily basis are <laughs> kind of Wind Waker related. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's definitely actually now it's Breath of the Wild. Like, I'll see something. On, like, I remember when I was in Japan. And we were yeah. like visiting all like mountains and everything. And I literally saw like Fuji, Fuji mountain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, the big uh, one. Yeah. Mount yeah. Fuji. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm referencing Zelda and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> literally like, wow, that's get, like uh, death mountain like a or something. Cliff edge or something. <laughs> Do you ever get the, you yeah, know, feel the need I, to I, just I, jump off and glide oh, down. Oh, yeah, right? No, and then there's so many cliff edges where I, I was imagining, like, imagine if I had a paraglider and I can glide down to, like, the city I see from afar. Like, it, I literally yeah. just think of video games first. It's kind of insane how the mind works like that. When, the, again, the video games imitate real life, but, like, with how much I play video games, I think of real, I think of video games when I see real life. It's the complete opposite, 100%. You know? It's, yeah. Especially when you've like had you know been playing the same game for a while, um, then you go you know do something in the real world and you can't think of anything. But like I remember, the first time I can remember that happening to me, I was like really young, maybe like seven or something. I remember I've been playing loads of Mario Kart DS, um, and I can't remember where we were. I remember holiday somewhere, I don't know. Uh, and I remember my dad was driving. Um, and for about an hour, uh, or at least it felt like an hour, I was just looking out the windscreen, pretending to kind of drift like a Mario Kart ahead of the car. You know, I was like <laughs> yeah. seeing the road, but kind of imprinting a cart on the road and like playing Mario Kart. And mm. it was, I remember like vividly the thought where I was like, whoa, like I'm not actually playing Mario Kart. I'm just kind <laughs> of like hallucinating Mario Kart. Yeah. I think that's the first time in my life I was ever like, wow, I need to, you know, play a bit less Mario Kart. You know? <laughs> yeah. You need, that's when you realize you need to touch grass. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Go what? On. No! <laughs> that looked like I got it, but somehow I didn't. Right. Um, it's funny, I used to do that all the time with Sonic. Like, when I used to be in a car, I used to, like, look out the window and be like, man, what if Sonic was running alongside the car? And would he, like, jump over, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. certain things? And yeah. I would just, like, yeah. picture it in my head as well, like, as I would just, like, sit in the car. Um, man, we were, so I we were cool kids. Thing. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> but even as an adult, like, I would see, like, you know, funny placed rocks or something. And I'd be like, oh, you know, if you place it, you get a Korok seed. Like, I would get, like, things 100%. like that, which made yeah. sense. Yeah, you see yeah. Korok seeds. Everywhere. Another one is uh, bombable walls. Like, sometimes you yeah. see a wall that's, like, being, like, patched up. And you think, man, if I had my bomb bag, <laughs> there's a piece of heart in there. <laughs> oh. Okay, we don't get gratitude crystals from this because we literally did a like we're making up for the wrongdoing we did, right? Yeah. So this is like technically what we owe him this stuff, right? Right. Yeah. Um, but I mean, got should... a piece of heart out of it, so can't complain. <laughs> yeah. I think no, we can now do it. the thing with his daughter, right? Play a little music. Uh, I know. The, I know you can do horribly. Singing, yeah. 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 You can, you can play horribly and like it will really upset him because like he wants his daughter to have a good time and, you know, not be embarrassed, but you could definitely embarrass the crap out of her. Is it, or maybe it's not now? Or maybe if I speak to her? Um, uh, pumpkin picking. Oh, oh is maybe pumpkin you have to picking. do the pumpkins we, first or? Yeah, yeah, I think I was just trying to rush that. Um, we, we can right. try that out if I can do that now. I mean, we're getting sidetracked a lot within the game, <laughs> but I guess that's like the beauty of Zelda games. It's just like, you know, there's just so much to mess around in and it's hard not to. Like, exactly. I feel like, yeah. yeah like you, even you Skyward Sword, which is like the most linear game, mm -hmm. there's still so much to kind of get lost and end up doing to distract yeah. you from the main world ending crisis that Link's meant to be sorting out. Yep, and even if we're not gonna do them all, like, we gotta do some, we gotta do the main ones, we gotta have fun, like, it's not a Zelda game without playing side quests and messing around, so, um, yeah, we probably won't do every single one, but we'll definitely do, like, a decent amount, you know, just get the main ones in. Uh, is her, I just yeah. realized her- Oh yeah, how is this gonna be without motion controls, what are you gonna do? Yeah, okay, it's actually- Oh god. <laughs> okay, can I turn? I can't. What the hell? Turn. <laughs> I can't. This is this is really stupid. Link won't like you know what I'm saying. Like Link is only facing one. Yeah, direction. yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, 
We're making progress. Sort of like, yeah, when it, um, when it starts tipping to the left, just kind of stay still and let it kind of pile up on the left for a sec. So then when you move- Oh, nice. Like, you see that? You can use the wall, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could That's do that. OP, yeah. <laughs> there nice. you go. Okay, now maybe we could do the last one. I think you can rush through all of these uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. Let's go let him know. We'll see what he says. You know, all of this for, I mean, this is actually nothing compared to how much the chandelier probably costs. Uh, it's, oh, it's still yeah. broken. Yeah, what chandelier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but he brings it back. I like that when Sturder, I found it. Right? Oh, sorry, what was know. that? I think he does bring it back, but it's just sturdier. Like it's, right? Uh, I actually can't remember if it comes back. Um, I thought it did. Yeah. We'll see. Well, we'll find we'll, out. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, now we could do the little... Uh, song with her. Oh, that's cool. I just realized yes. the sheets have pumpkins on it. They really embrace oh, yeah, the pumpkin like a theme. Yeah, they're like actual <laughs> jack-o'-lantern, like Halloween yeah. pumpkins as well. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and oh my God, are you kidding me? Pumpkin These baskets. baskets. <laughs> <You know? laughs> what else? Actually, now I'm curious. Oh, pumpkin-themed windows. Pumpkin-themed yeah. I mean, the door. Whole, <laughs> the whole building is a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I never really like. Put two and two together. I bet this is all just pumpkin soup and liqueur or something. I don't know. I doubt it. But <laughs> only even got a picture. I mean, they're so obsessed. They have to have like a giant picture. Is there pumpkin right. in? in do, is, you can't collect pumpkins in Tears of the Kingdom of Breath of the Wild, right? They don't do they? Yeah, you they can. It's uh, I think it's like defense, right? It's like fortified pumpkin or something. Oh yeah. Um, so it is, is a fortified ingredient. pumpkin. Or you're right. Yeah, you're I right. can't. There, it definitely is, and I, I'm pretty I sure. I can't it's like picture a how it looks item. in that game for some reason. It just uh, seems like a really probably a little big bit like thing. a pumpkin, if I had to guess. <laughs> Shut up, bro. I, <laughs> I mean, like, like, how do you pick it up? Is it like a bomb, like in Tears of the Kingdom, where they're like sprouted on the ground? For some reason, like it's not clicking with me. I like drawing a blank. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. Does, does someone farm them? Is in like Hateno or? Kakariko oh yeah. Or oh yeah. There you go. And you can't pick them up there. Yeah, but you can't pick them up there. But you're right. You probably do just find them in the wild. You're right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's Kakariko, right? There's the lady that farms them. In uh, no, in Haiti. Oh, is it Hateno? Or it, it's oh, okay. both, maybe. It could be. Both. I can't remember. Yeah, but yeah, there yeah. are definitely pumpkins. I know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. The singing middle middle game, mini game. <laughs> Should I mess up and just like, you know, yes. not even See try? Oh my god! <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> Things you've only just realized. I've actually only just realized that his name's Pum and hers is Kina. Oh my god. <laughs> True. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Bit of a tune. It's kind of cute. <laughs> We're having a good time though. There you go. I don't know if I'm doing well or not. Sounds good to me. <laughs> it might have been <laughs> in sync with what she's saying. At the end, or no? Oh, right. Another verse. Watch you. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be honest. I'm just like strumming. <laughs> la, 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 la. That's all she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't happy though for a second, so I clearly messed up. Nah, it's good now. Certified hood classic. <laughs> yeah. If, if you give me the ox part, this is the only thing I'm playing. <laughs> <in the car. laughs> only lumpy pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> How Jim long is this song? Is up? Right? Hey, there you go. Oh, they did not oh, like no. it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even oh, know what I was supposed to do. Like, I'm just like just uh, be better. Around. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what in the blue sky was that? <laughs> um, Sorry, dude. I'll try again. Yeah, let's explain. Have him explain it. Okay. We'll start waving their arms. Okay. So oh, you, you follow them. I was waving, doing right, that, okay. but then eventually okay. they stopped, so I didn't know what to do. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. We'll, we'll try again. All right. Encore. <laughs> All right. In, in in tune with the arms. So I don't even need to start moving now. Okay. 
<laughs> we'll see if this does it. But they start moving fast, so I probably have to move really fast as well. Yeah. Oh, it looks pretty good now. I think you're... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's done something there. He went forward, back, forward, back. Yeah. I messed it. I'm no longer in sync. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Boo. Oh. I messed up. But, yeah, what are you meant to do when they stop? Do you stop as well? Oh. You're right. I think That's maybe you did, yeah. I, I should be fine. Yeah, how you get to hear this it, banger we'll a second time. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <gasps> it is longer than I remember it, this song. <laughs> Oh my god, when they do that, it's so annoying. <laughs> right. Go on. Oh, okay. Hey! Uh, yeah, so they give you a lot of windows to mess up. It's just like, you gotta make sure you're not just constantly strumming. I think what I really did to mess it up was strumming when they stop, you know, move, waving their arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's fine. What do we, we get paid for this, right? Rupees, or...? No, we're still we paying up for the chandelier, remember? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> like, they're all of <laughs> so this. So heavily in debt. Yeah, but I think oh, no, finally wait, we're done. Some, oh, yeah. a piece of heart, nice, okay, yeah. Yep. Okay, Sweet. and did we get gratitude yeah. crystals as well? No. Okay, so now we're done. Uh, okay, now we're gonna customer next time. I think the chandelier will be built next time we, we come back. Uh, okay. But okay, so we, we got that done that's with. <laughs> That's probably about it for the side questing now, right? Let's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> actually do the adventure. <laughs> yeah, we, we messed around enough. Um, I mean, you know, at least we got it done. We, we paid our dues. You look at it that way. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got some good karma. Oh. But, you know, I noticed even her apron... Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. pumpkin yeah. I think they get wonder... sick of pumpkins living here. Is her hair technically... Not I think yet. that is, that's a pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. It's a pumpkin if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah. People who have, like, literally their entire personality and everything they do is based off of one thing to me. is always funny to me. Like, that is, yeah. I mean, in video games it makes Especially sense, vegetables, so. you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird obsession to have. Like, pumpkins yeah. are good, but like, damn, that's taking it yeah. too far. <laughs> But okay, yeah, I, I think I'm going to take a break. I mean, let's be honest, there's probably a lot more side questing I can do, but um, we don't want to slow things down way too much. So I do think we should at least focus on the next objective, uh, which is opening up the Silent Realm, I believe. So where do I want to go? Uh, the viewing platform. Yeah, the viewing platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are cool sections of the game, the Silent Realms. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I said earlier that, so, yeah, you know, they are terrifying, and I understand why some people don't like them, and I, I've known people that have kind of bounced off the game completely when they get to these areas, because they are so, like, anxiety-inducing, but mm -hmm. I, I think that's why they're cool, you know? Like, scary things in Zelda is good. Like, uh, you know, you want to be scarred by things like Dead Hand and, and whatever, don't you? It's yep. just part of a oh. Zelda game. And, you know, here's, here's a good example of, like, what Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild did in this game as well or like you know it started in this game and became a lot more evolved see the bacoblin got stronger and now it's blue instead yeah. of red um yeah, yeah. so I mean, that's a uh, here yeah 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 like that's something they had in the original right it was like red is like basic enemies then blue is mm -hmm. a stronger version and then yeah you see it in in skyward sword and then obviously breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom turned it into this whole like a kind of hierarchy thing, going all the way up to silver or yep. gold in, in master mode. Uh huh. But I more so mean um, like in this area he would have been red, but because right, but now he's been he's been game, bumped up to blue. Yeah, yeah like see, right. like yeah. yeah. Um, and let's see how much damage it actually takes. I guess we could just do this. Nice. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, but man, they don't drop anything though. It sucks. 
Um, you got uh, so sh one rupee off that. That's, that's all right. <laughs> I want monster parts, so that's more valuable to me. But um, I guess, yeah, we, we've done a ton of side quests, but I think next time then we'll uh, focus on the actual objective. The so Silent we'll Realm and Lake Floria. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yep, thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you then. Cheers, guys. Thank you.